Today we create a beautiful super light eggplant lasagna. This is a veggie recipe. This is lower in carbs, it is sugar free and of course it's gluten free. In the summer I just had a lot of pasta. I had the Italian side on my life and it's beautiful. I got inspired and my dad or my parents had such beautiful eggplants. That's why I just created them and this is a super easy recipe. Perfect for weeknights or for the weekend. So first we start to peel the eggplant with a peeler or with a dicer. You can also cut them into thin slices if you don't have a dicer. Then just go with a knife and just try to cut here very thin. Next step, I'm taking a pan or you can take a bowl, but it would be better to take a baking sheet that you just can lay them out and then just toss some salt, pepper and some good garlic powder over it that we just give our beautiful eggplant some beautiful taste. After that we will just add some good or drizzle some beautiful olive oil just to marinate our beautiful one and just, just let them rest for around about 15 to 30 minutes. So for this recipe we don't make a bechamel, we'll take here ricotta cheese you can go with cream cheese or curd or yogurt or whatever you have. But I like especially ricotta cheese because it's lighter in taste and it's a lighter version before mascarpone. So then we will add some beautiful garlic powder. You can add a little bit of salt because we just already salted the eggplants. And then just add two eggs and mix everything very well. This will be our creamy layer which just gives the Eggful hand lasagna. It's a bechamel, you know, it's kind of a bechamel, but it's I think a lighter yummy taste I really can recommend this recipe Okay, like you saw in the garden I got parsley I got chives and I found a little bit of Celery leaves in my fridge. That's why we just cut it all to into finely pieces and then just bump it into the beautiful creamy mixture <laughs> do you notice I don't know when I watch beautiful recipe videos and the people just add beautiful herbs into their food and then I just think oh damn it I don't have herbs do I have to go shopping oh, I just leave them out <laughs> you can also dry them <laughs> if you just get too much or if you just buy too much and just uh, take a dehydrator or just in the air fryer or in the um, oven and just bake them and then you just can grind them and then keep them and store them for a longer time if you don't have fresh herbs like most of the time I don't do. Okay, because I got so much eggplant, I just also cut them into circles and just, just to create a little bit of more antipasti for the side, not for this dish, but for a snack or just for the week. So for topping this beautiful lasagna, we will start with a tomato sauce, which is a, just a regular passata. Just put it into the pan and then just start layering the beautiful layers. They're already soaked in and salty and very delicious. Of course, they are raw. They, I love, prefer them more baked, but next layer will be the creamy layer. So don't be too cheap. Just uh, be very generous because we don't have so much layers. This is a portion for, I would say, two to three persons. And there you go, start layering. Next layer will be again the eggplant and so on and so on, my beautiful friends. So, and because I just fucked up my last footage, <laughs> we have to bake this beauty in 200 degrees, which is for my friends in the US, 398 degrees Fahrenheit for around about 
15 to 20 mi minutes until the cheese on the top has fully molten. This, of course, this recipe is not raw. This is also a vegetarian recipe, so you don't have to worry. Just wait until the cheese has molten, and then, my friends, you can enjoy it hot or just cold like I do I love like cold pizza cold lasagna I just eat that some people hate it some people love it my friends I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section below what I can turn for you next time into low carb see you next Saturday same time same place thank you for watching